What's up guys, it's Chuck from Brady Adventures, and today we're going to be installing rocker switches in our overhead panel. This is going to be the first in a series of videos where we're going to get those switches in, get everything wired up, get some relays under the hood, and put some off-road LED lights on our ARB bumper. There'll be links in the description below to all the products we're using, and if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. And if you enjoy the video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoy the video. So I'm gonna replace the wiring harnesses in the original Vo switch housing and move it over to this other housing that's gonna fit up in my Land Cruiser's sunglasses area. And I already started pulling off some of this wiring. I'm gonna reuse some of this depending on if this is gonna meet the clearance up in the sunglass holder. I've also ordered some flag spade connectors that I can get right angle off the switches if I need to. I'm going to have an extra positive and an extra ground that will run the lights off the ignition. These are really nice. They've got a little ring on each wire showing you what switch number it is so it'll be really easy for me to to make sure I hook these up correctly this dimmer and on off runs the hot and the negative to this little connector I'm definitely gonna have to cut these wires and splice them together since we're taking this switch out of the loop if you wanted you could cut this out and put another switch and have a seven switch panel now that I know I've got my wiring pretty much figured out I need to get this cut into my sunglass holder and get things mounted up I'm going to pull this panel down off the ceiling so that I can get to this sunglass holder and cut the rectangle out for the switch panel all we need to do is take this one screw out and then there are some retaining clips that are holding this up so then we're going to pop that down from the ceiling and then there's probably a whole bunch of plugs and there's one now there's one back here and one more here just three wiring plugs. So I've got this out of the Land Cruiser. The guy in the thread that I was watching, I didn't realize it at the time, but he does not have a garage door opener. The garage door opener and transmitter sits right here. And I also have a couple other plugs that are mounted on the back side of this. So completely cutting this out is not gonna be an option. However, I can at least cut parts of this out if I need to make room for some wiring. Turns out the regular connectors that I was trying to use are going to be a little bit too long. I've rewired most of my connections with these flag connectors either in these little plastic housings or outside of them. I had to do some outside because these tips aren't flexible. And I think I have it about where I need it. Let's do a little test fit. So with those, will it sit in here flush? It looks like it will. Those flag connectors are just touching the bottom, but it should fit. That should be helpful. A lot of people on the thread said, hey, if you have the home link, you can't do it. But I think with all these flag connectors, it's gonna work. I think you can see that in there that those flag connectors just just touching. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to cut the back side of the sunglass case here. Definitely gonna be tight in there. Got all the wiring on the switches in the switch panel with flag connectors, so pretty low profile compared to what it was before. I'm not cutting the back out of this thing because of the flag connectors I've got, but I do need to drill one hole for the wires to come through. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill it right here. I think this is the antenna for the home link. So I'm just gonna drill it right in the middle of that. I'll make it nice and big so it's easy to get things in and out of there. The wires are getting all bunched up inside the housing here. The switches can fit, but they can't fit with any of that excess wire harness. I'm going to cut as much of this out of here as I can, which should give just enough space for that wire harness to push in up above this. I didn't even think about how hard that was going to be to get in there. Is it going to be impossible to get in there? Just realized that my flag connectors, if they're sticking out past these switches, there's a wall there. I originally didn't think I was going to need to take all this apart to get this in, but it was so hard. And the fact that I needed to cut this extra access hole a little bit bigger, try to get the wires in there, I went ahead and took this apart. I didn't take all these connectors or the home link off, just enough to kind of get this out. 
and pull the sunglass holder out itself. This helped me identify the places where things were binding up or it wasn't fitting. A couple things to note. One is here, this screw in this corner got really, really close to this gear. I mean, it actually made the screw tilt up a little bit. I didn't notice that when I initially drilled the hole, I would have kind of moved this whole thing up just a little bit more. I ended up trimming this right here to allow for all these ground wires. I have all these ground wires folded down and electrical taped around the switches to kind of hold those wires tight. And that way, when I was putting this in, they didn't get pulled or yanked on. You can see from the side profile, I have everything mounted as flush as possible so that it'll fit in there as good as it can. So that took some work getting these flag connectors lined up together, making sure all the crimps were holding tight. And also the one last thing that I did was took all these internal wires that needed to come out in this harness and I routed them out underneath each of these flags connectors so that none of that was protruding. So initially when I put it in, a lot of those wires were sitting on here and it just wasn't enough room. Right now, the way that it is, it just fits. Before, I was hoping that I would be able to put this in and kind of open up the sunglass holder and access some of these things, plug in the wires and fold it up. That's definitely not happening. This is gonna have to go in all in one unit. So we run the wires through the back side here. So I've got my switch harness and my ignition wire. So get those out. These will both have to be plugged in when I actually mount the center console up in the ceiling. Now I'm gonna put this all back together. Now the hard thing is getting this latch to engage so that panel doesn't want to open on you so you have to push it down kind of hard and help that move over so that it locks in now it won't open to get these last few screws in mount the sunglass housing back to the center console there you have it ready to go into the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and put this panel back up in here. And I did realize I'm not gonna be able to put this screw back in that was holding this in since I have all the switches mounted and they are not coming out of there. I think that's gonna be enough. Get these plugs put back in. Get my switch plug in here. That's in, that's in. ended up wire crimping this accessory wire. Wish I would, would have gotten a plug for this, but I don't have any handy and kind of in the middle of the project. So I had and crimp that. I've got plenty of extra cable. If I ever need to take this thing out, I'll make sure I get a plug so that it's a little easier to put it back in. Got all the wires tucked up in there and now everything's plugged in. So. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep an eye out for the upcoming videos where we'll be wiring up the switch panel, getting our bow switch relay box installed underneath the hood and our LED driving lights on our ARB bumper. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot.